Hey guys, welcome back to another Road to Rank 1 in 1v1. I know I haven't really posted one in quite a while, and it's because of the Euro Cup and everything that I, I wasn't really able to uh, play that much and also record much. So I tried to record a lot ahead of time with my other episodes. We're at 1569 at the moment, and uh, since last episode, I think we were at 1557. I played quite a few games off stream uh, just to grind and get back into the swing of things. So I lost a few games, won a few games, but we're up 12 points. Pretty happy with where we're sitting. Hopefully we can move back up into the top 20 and start actually pushing for top 10 because, you know, with me taking breaks like this, everyone keeps getting more, more and more points in MMR. So as we jump into this match, I'm hoping to uh, grind a lot more of this and hopefully actually push into the top 10 and move into the, the rank one spot. Let's get right into it. All right, we got our first game against Riddles. Pretty good player. Let's see how this goes. Might be able to get the opening net, yeah. There was no way of me getting back to that boost or the, the ball there. Pretty solid 50-50 by him. It was interesting by him. He did a really slow kickoff. I could tell that he was going to go really slow, so I just tried to counter that a little bit. And uh, got the wave dash to follow through. Let's me open up the the space. There we go. Just make it really awkward for him. Pop it over him. It's a decent touch. Makes me keep the ball here. There we go. Let's force him out. He keeps uh he keeps trying to stay near the ball. But he's uh, out of position a little bit, so I can tell that he's going to be attacking in an awkward position. Getting a late 50 50 there lets me pop it over him. There we go. If we get this boost, he'll probably get the mid or something. If not, then I can pop this off the wall here. Yeah, position pretty far out of the net. It kind of plays your card. You kind of show your cards, basically, if you do that, because you can't really get back to net in time. So if I just attack that really quick. I'm going to fake this actually. Don't need to worry about it. If he hits that ball again, just give me the option to uh, draw it in here. It's pretty bad attack by me. Should have stay in front. We have an awkward attack. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> it was I like scooped it underneath. I meant to uh, hit it softly and then and then go for the corner, but he wasn't in a position to take that corner anyway. So I shouldn't be trying to uh, position in a way to keep the ball and the boost. Oh, I'll try to get the bump on him, but it's all right. Make sure I don't waste too much boost here. That way, if he attacks, it's okay still. Get the boost for me. There we go. Just force a 50 50. Pop it over and get the boost. Should be a decent shot by him, yeah. That was a pretty, pretty bad bad play by me. I was a pretty low boost. Shouldn't force a 50 50 like that when I have a uh, full boost. I could just force him in to make a touch, make a flip. I'll pop him off. Hopefully, we can get back down. I don't. I don't think I will be able to though. Oof! It's basically in. Yeah, unfortunate. I don't know why I go for those because their touch is gonna be pretty wasted if I go. Just let them touch it. Not a great first game so far. I can see that he fakes a lot. It's not a big deal. Here we go. It's a pretty hard shot to save. A lot of space to work with. Can flick that top left corner or top right corner. I usually like to go top left on that side because they're already positioned on that side of the net. It makes it harder for them to uh, readjust. Should be an open goal here. Not the greatest play this first game, but, you know, it happens. I'm trying to warm up a little bit. Make sure we make good touches. 
make good decisions as well. I feel like that's half the thing right now is that I'm not making great decisions on these challenges. Oh, good little fake there. He's pretty low boost. So off the kickoff, I want to make sure I keep that pressure. I could have went for mid boost and made a setup, but that gives him time to get a few more pads. So I'm able to uh, continue the pressure here. I might go for a immediate shot or something. That's a good shot. It's pretty done by me as well. Uh, he was going for that boost collection, and once he gets that, he can do pretty much any flick he wants. And follow through, so I should just posture. Make sure I keep that boost, boost amount. Pretty bad hit. It's gonna go mid for me. It's a good demo. I should be able to spawn in time. Yeah. Oh, it's a good shot as well. Yeah, so he likes to fake a lot off those dribbles. Um, and then get those last flicks. I need to make sure I'm aware of that before I uh, attack next. Yo, the ball again. Pretty aggressive attack by him. And same thing there. Pretty aggressive once again. Finding those openings though. Make sure you don't give him too much space on that ceiling. A lot of players nowadays will take advantage of that. And uh, make a play any play they can. I can't shoot this yet. Pop it around him. He's pretty low boost. Get this off the corner. I think I'm about to clear it. Pop it over. I got pretty good boost here. He's gonna stay near the wall. It's fine. He's a little boost, so if I just be annoying. Oh, that's pretty annoying. <laughs> I played myself once again. Like a lot of players do that nowadays. They just stay near the ball no matter what. Like he's pretty low boost, but he's just gonna keep flipping on it, be a nuisance until he finds the opening. Should be an open net here. There we go. Yeah, but most 1v1 games at this level are, are going to be pretty much close every time. Everyone kind of goes back and forth. Whoever finds those openings first, we'll, uh, we'll get the goal. Let's force them back to get the goal, the back boost. Now we can get our boost here. He might go for an air dribble bump. He hasn't done that yet, but we'll see what he does. Yeah, I don't know why I went super high there. What the heck? He's got stuck on the post. There we go. Just be annoying. Just force him out. Pop it over. He wants to see a, see how he wants to stand near the ball like that. It's like pretty much every one one v one players does that now. So that's bad. Yeah, every every one v one player, every one one v one player at this level, they just basically hold onto the ball and keep it to their uh, their car the entire time and glued to it. Get the corner boost here. I go for the bump on him. It's all fine. And there we go. Once again, wants to stay close to the ball, so I'm able to find the opening. And just air drill. I was gonna go for an air drill, air drill bump if he uh, went closer to me, but I realized that he was just gonna attack, so just stay close to it. I just need to draw out the clock here, if I can. So that's a good demo to basically probably take out this the rest of the time. And then I'll just chip it the second it gets close. There it is. So pretty good game. I mean, I made a lot of mistakes, but as a first game of the day, um, a lot to learn from, I would say. Uh, biggest thing is just to make good challenges, make sure I don't throw myself out of position when I'm low boost. Because uh, he was getting me he was getting me low boost a lot off of the kickoffs um, in certain situations off the sidewall. So... I need to approach those a little bit differently in the next game if we face him again. Alright, we got Karma. Pretty good 1v1 player as well. I think she's top 100. Let's see how this goes. So, threw the ball away a little bit with that touch, but... He's able to keep pressure here. There we go. Follow through. And just follow through with that touch too. Just stay close to the ball like I was talking about. At high level 1v1, pretty much everyone stays near the ball as much as possible. Even when they're low boost. Should probably go for the corner here.
Oh, I should have just hit that. I don't know why I left it. I could have just cleared to the side and I tried to like pop it up. That was pretty dumb of me. I was just waiting for that for that next touch. And then I drove to the far left a little bit. That's pretty bad play. Shouldn't be letting that happen. There we go. Did you get that mid. Did throw it away a little bit. Same with that. All right, staying pretty close, but there we go. Get the corner boost. It's pretty low, so pop it up. See what she does here. It's a pretty low boost. I think she's waiting for this this boost to show up here or something. There we go. She goes for the corner boost. I can probably beat her here. Pop it over, get the corner boost again. It's a pretty bad touch. Should be an opening. Ah, oh, I, I almost scored it. There we go. Chip it far left. I haven't really played Karma in probably like three or four seasons, so I'm curious to see how she does in 1v1. So far, it seems a little bit more like threes oriented, like not as close to the ball and stuff. And just like throwing the ball away like that, but I need to make sure I take advantage of those opportunities. There we go. To be open if I can score this. Oh, so close. To be all right. Pop it around her. I can't go for that boost. It's gonna be spawning on her. So. Oh, it's close. She almost shooted around me. Well, she'll beat me to that ball if I go straight for it. She's going to take her time. We're up a goal here. We don't have to do anything too crazy. There we go. Got it over her, but I might be stuck in the net here. It's not good. <laughs> Did block her off the boost. Oh. All right, we take those. I was a little bit fortunate that she ran into me. I think she could have probably flipped away from me, and then I could have uh, been in a pretty bad situation there. Uh, that's her trying to get to the ball as fast as possible. There we go. Good block. She's stuck in the middle of the field here. I'm going to try and get a double on her. She's pretty low. Let's make sure I stay with the boost. Make sure I jump off the wall. If I jump off the wall, I won't be demoed there. Got the boost from here. Still pretty low. There you go. She's very, very low that whole time. Even if she jumps for this, it's okay. She gives me the ball. Let's take the boost again. Let's keep taking the boost. Keep taking advantage. Uh, this is what like 1v1 players are especially good at. Is that just they just stay near the ball and just be a nuisance. Make sure they keep those advantages. Sure, I bump her off the ball. I missed the boost. It should be alright. If the long line boom, boom that ball up, she'll have to take possession in an awkward spot, which she does. Just trying to kill off the time. Well, it's close. She's not really creating enough pos uh, possession to make enough shots on me. That's the biggest thing right now, is that she's just. She's trying to like bait me in, but I'm not being baited. So then she's just throwing the ball away a lot. Just trying to stall time here. I don't want to be bumped. There we go. She's in a really awkward position. Should've just stay with this. I don't want to just give her possession to just shoot this. There we go. Oh, wow. I expected her to just jump off the, the roof there. I thought she was going to go off the ceiling. So I tried to bring it down. That's what most 1v1 players do in that situation. There we go. Stay with it. Oh. That should be game. So not too bad. 
See if we can get a fourth one here. Nice save. Oh yeah, not too bad of a second game. It's definitely different to play a player who isn't usually a 1v1 player, I would say. But we did play well. We made sure we didn't bait into any of the challenges and uh, just played around what she did. Uh, kept possession for the most part. Just kept taking shots, making her have to question her defense and stuff. And we got riddles for the last game. We got, got the same player from the first match. Hopefully we can get a last win here and stay pretty high up on the leaderboard. Be pretty nice. As we move up. to stay annoying here. Alright, that's fine. He attacks that. I didn't mean to hit it like that, but it should be alright. So that there I know that he's going to be uh, staying close to the ball like he has last game. So I'm just trying to use that to my advantage. Yep. Uh, another thing that 1v1 uh, players don't, don't do is flip a lot. Stay with the ball again, which is fine. There you go. He throws the ball away. Should be far enough that it flicks off the corner. There we go. Yeah, one v one players they don't usually flip, and I found that I figured that out a long time ago. That if you use that flip to your advantage, like the lack thereof, or the lack of using it, he's gonna stay near the ball again, isn't he? Hopefully that's fast enough not but there we go stay close to the ball here um yeah i usually i started to figure this out a while ago that the players that play 1v1 the most they uh don't flip at all on anything they like they try to stay with the ball and make sure that in challenges they they have the ability to move back into position the fastest i should bounce down There we go. So in that situation, I knew it was going to bounce down, so I went for the corner boost. Or mid boost. Really awkward position to clear from. There it is again. So he's staying on the ball again. So like, if we if we know that, we can take advantage of that. Because he'll always turn on everything, like right here. Just pop it up really awkward, so he has to make an awkward save. Should we pop it to the corner and then stay with it? You might go for a demo here. Oh. So there, I know he's going to push up a little bit, so I put it to the corner instead. There we go. Get the force 50 50 to the back right corner. Yeah, players like this, when they stay like really close to the ball, it can be annoying, but you should know that he's going to be near the ball the whole time, so. With that in mind, you play a certain way. I'm gonna force him in here. It's pretty low boost, so now I can move towards the net. Kind of get a chip. To be far enough that it scores. Once again, just knowing that he's gonna try and push in and be annoying. It's okay if I pass on the ball there because he's pretty much zero boost. So if I throw it right at his car, it could be pretty awkward. Goes for mid boost or corner boost, he'll be screwed. Smart of him to leave. Pretty bad touch by me, it gives it back to him. I wanted to pop that with a half volley, but timing just wasn't there. There we go. Corner boost hopefully spawns. I think he missed the corner, the mid boost, he did. So I grabbed the corner. Now he has to move back. It's gonna be annoying here. It's a good catch by him, but I get the boost once again. Just staying annoying. There we go. Get the corner boost. He'll be moving back. There it is. Staying on the ball again. But he's pretty low boost. Don't need to push this out because it's not on target. And once again, just challenging pretty early. So once I adapt to a player like this, I can. Pretty convincingly play all my cards right, especially when I'm a little bit more warmed up in the third game of the day, but just uh, making sure I'm reading the player. I missed the corner of the net. Only way I'm scoring that is corner of the net.
I don't know if I can make it here. I can't. So he's going to score that. That's okay. We still got only got a minute and 18 left. So, uh, gotta make sure we, uh, play this smart. Once again, I should know he's going there. Because, uh, like I said, he always goes. So, I'm not listening to my own advice. <laughs> the classic. He's going to go low 50 50. Yeah. I didn't play that right. Since he went high on the ball, I could actually just probably just wait and collect that ball a little better. A good 50-50 by him on the, the kickoff. He's going to be behind me, so I want to make sure I push this over to the other side. Ouch. Yeah, that was a weird play by him. I mean, once again, it's the same thing. He's staying on the ball, so all I have to do is pop it around him off that wall. If I can get the ball to pinch off the corner of the wall, out, there's no way that his car will touch it. Which I think is what he was hoping for. That's fine. Not really dangerous play. Pop it over him just so it's awkward. Get the corner boost from him. No, he made me own goal. I thought he was going to hit the ball. He just flipped to the side. Oh, no. That was the weirdest play. He could have scored that. I'm not sure why he did that. <laughs> but it works. I was going for the demo on him, but... It is what it is. So here I don't want to force myself in the corner. I don't think his plays are that strong to uh, to warrant like me going into the corner. But that was a pretty poor play by me. Jumped up pretty early when he didn't even shoot on target. If I just waited there, I probably could have got a free clear and shot towards his net. There we go. Open net again. Hopefully I don't throw this lead. You know, getting a one goal game on both of these games against him would be would be nice. Hopefully we can get a second one here. Doesn't get a gold back off this kickoff. He's been playing his kickoffs very differently every time, so I'm trying to read it. I'll go for the corner boost here. I'm gonna avoid the demo if I can. Missed the net or missed the boost. Should be down. I don't think you can really catch that. And there we go. So not a bad set of three games. It's not the best, but I did just wake up. I just tried to get an episode out for you guys. Um, trying to keep the challenge the grand champion going i hope you guys enjoyed the uh the first episode yesterday with rapid but we got a lot more planned we uh, a lot of forfeit sort of challenges so might be a longer series than last year but i'm really enjoying it so far i, I can't stop laughing so hope you guys enjoying the videos regardless and uh let's check out the leaderboard before we end this video off so once again we're sitting pretty pretty in the <laughs> pretty pretty at rank 20 here um i haven't played in a while because of euro cup and stuff and uh, for Salt Mine, I will be actually casting those matches. So I know you guys have been w wondering what I'm going to be doing for Salt Mine. That is what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be uh, casting some games for Johnny Boy on my own channel on twitch.tv slash lethemy underscore RL. If you want to come watch some high level uh, analysis, um, feel free to stop by. They may or may not be uploaded on my main channel. We'll see how, uh, how they are. If not, they might be on my second channel. So hope you guys enjoyed. We'll catch you guys in the next one.